Okay guys, welcome back to Today's Academy. I know it has been a while that I've uploaded a video here on YouTube, but it's due to school factor. Okay, so I have a question for you guys on depreciation and the question seems to be very complex. So and the question goes like this. A motor van was purchased by a bookshop on the first of July 2014 for 10 million for 10 million and sold on June 30, 2016 for 8.2 million. The firm's accounting year ends on 31st December each year. Motovan are depreciated as 10% per annum on the cost. Full year depreciation is charged in the year of purchase but not in the year of sale. The asset is not expected to have any residual value. Wow, so as you can see how complex the question seems to be. So I'll be treating that right away. So now to solve it. Motovan was purchased by Bookshop on the 1st of July. So you put the date. 1st of July. 2014. By how much? You put your cost. Because this is the Motovan account. 10 million naira. That's our cost. So the next thing is we are told that the film account ends starts first December each year. So motor vans are depreciated as ten percent per annum on the cost. So our ten percent our depreciation rate is equal to ten percent of ten million, which is how much? One million euro. So you come to our accumulated depreciation account on the credit side. Then you put it on thirty first. Because we are told that depreciation is so our depreciation here is what one million naira. We close it up. We put our uh, thirty first December twenty fourteen. Our balance carried down. Is that much? Still the same one million. You close it for the year. Then you move to the next year, which is what? The 1st of January 2015. Then you. Alright, so after that, we will put in our depreciation rate for the year, which is constant because we are told that it's per annum. Our depreciation. Which is how much? Still same one million naira. So if our total is two million naira, and we are told that depreciation was not charged in the year of disposal. Therefore, this is our this our depreciation is going to our disposal account. Disposal account. Two million. So here is our disposal. Motor van disposal account. We, need, we have to get our cost. So we have to close this motor van account. Disposal. Ten million. Uh, so we are done. We have. We are done with the motor van. I can say for can I come back to our disposal account the corresponding entry? Motor van. Which is ten million there. We will come to our accumulated depreciation and put our figure there. So we put our accumulated depreciation there. Two million. And we were told that on the 30th of June 2016, 30th of June 2016, 
We sold the motor van for how much? 8.2 million. We put our cash there. 8.2 million. That is our cash. So to know whether we have a profit or losses, our total value on the credit side here is more than our initial cost. Therefore, it is a profit. Because 8 million plus, 8.2 million plus 2 million is 10.2 million. So our profit here is going to trading profit or loss account. 200,000. So making it balance. This is going to our statement of profit or loss or our income statement on the credit side. It's added to our gross profit. So this is what? 10.2 million. So we can say that there is a profit on disposal of motor van account. Thank you very much for watching. Looking forward to see you guys next time. And before you go, kindly like and subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get updated or you get notified whenever we upload a new video. Thank you.